it's SML, SML movie, the, the Ash, the Ash, I can't even say my words correctly today, and guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, leave a comment down with my selections, 23 guys, and I hope, it's, I hope you just watch this episode. Oh man, where's the remote? Jeffy, do you know where the remote is? I want to watch TV. Hey, daddy, I'm a unicorn. Mm-hmm. Well, Jeffy, that's my remote. <laughs> you heard the unicorn, daddy. Ooh. You took away my horn. Well, Jeffy, I want to watch TV. Just you calm down. Yourself, huh? This is what you're doing. You're playing with me. You're watching news. Good. Okay. Well, an asteroid is heading straight for Earth. An asteroid's coming to. Oh my gosh, they're all day. They're all day. Statement. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Brooklyn T. Guy. Guys, uh, I went to Wedgwood Middle School, and uh, now I'm an astronaut for NASA. How do you like that, bitches? Yeah, I'm an astronaut. H- how do you like that, Mrs. Leibowitz, my sixth grade science teacher? You said I wouldn't become anything when I was playing with my pencil, pretending it was a spaceship. But now look yeah. at me. I'm an astronaut. What are you doing? You're probably dead, you old hag. Uh, a- anyway, uh, hey, on a more serious news, note, uh, there's a very large asteroid headed toward Earth. Uh, it is very big. It's about the size of my ex-wife. Uh, if you haven't seen my ex-wife, I, I, I really don't know how you couldn't. She, she is goddamn gigantic. She's, she's just. Why, why are you always talking about your wife? You always, you always talk about his wife, like, for me and guy. He's always talking about his wife. Why are you always gonna talk about your wife? I mean, start talking about your wife. Uh, so it, it's a very, very large asteroid. If this asteroid actually hits Earth, we will all die. Everyone on the planet will be dead. It'll be just like the dinosaurs. But but don't panic. We have a solution, okay? We're going to launch a nuke at the asteroid. Yeah. And one of four things is going to happen, okay? The first option is that it breaks up the asteroid into millions of little pieces and they burn up in the happy. atmosphere. The second option uh, is that it will break the asteroid up into two medium-sized asteroids. And then we get DP'd and we're all dead. Uh, the third option is that the nuke does absolutely nothing, and we're all dead. And the fourth Ooh. option is that we just completely fucking That's miss. That the, 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 the nuke doesn't even hit the asteroid. We shoot it completely the wrong direction. We just, we shoot the nuke with our eyes closed. We're, we're not even looking. We just launch it. So, obviously, we're hoping for the first option. Yeah. And, uh, we're broadcasting this live. So, uh, let's go launch this nuke. Oh, my God, an asteroid. Oh, Jeffy, what are we going to do? I hope that nuke stops it. Oh, my God. What's an asteroid? Daddy, is it like an it's a bit, no, no, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit it's just change the earth. I can't believe this is actually happening. I don't believe this is actually happening. This has to be a prank or something. This has to be a prank. There's no way that we're actually die today. We might actually die today. Oh my god. Ooh. Ow, Jeffy. She didn't hurt that bad, Daddy. It's always more, well, Jeff, okay. You, you are saying it's not, it's like, okay, it's like a rock. And still, it's much bigger. Well, it's, it can make holes in the earth. And this one, it could destroy the whole world. So, it's much better than a rock. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, yeah. So, I think Jeffy don't understand, really. Watch the TV and see if they stop it. Okay, so uh, the nuke was a direct hit. We hit it perfectly right in the middle. It was a bullseye. Beautiful shot, really. Wow. Uh, nothing happened, though. Uh, apparently, this nuke was not big enough to break up this giant asteroid. So uh, we have no way to wipe this asteroid out. <laughs> this is not, my name, this is yeah, not I, I funny. Nice joke. They about, you about to die, my uh, man. Oh, come on. Come on, that's funny. We're not dead yet. Uh, no, right. But seriously, uh, we have no way to wipe this ass droid. <laughs> I, I did it again. I, yeah. I did it. I did it again. So you tell me, if that is the last day you any and asteroids can destroy the Earth. That's not gonna, you're not gonna be laughing. You'll be penny. So what should we do? What should we do? All right, you guys are no fun. Uh, so you can start yeah, rioting and looting now uh, mm-hmm. because we have no hope, and I think we're all going to die because we have no ideas. So uh, yeah. goodbye. This is. Oh, it's the perfect time to steal stuff. Ain't no one gonna be there, and ain't no one gonna stop me. It's the perfect 
time to get a big TV, a PS4, an Xbox, a boom box, a new chain, some fresh kicks. Four months is the perfect time. Black Ocean, why would you need all that stuff and we're going to die anyway? Because okay. I can look yeah. fly in heaven, folks. Black Ocean, you're so stupid. Man, for man, forget you, for I'm going to go loot right. See you later. Black I'll get you, you but man, I'll burn it. There's going to be an update or something. All right, everyone. We're here with Dr. Frederick Fingershits. And he's supposed to help us with this asteroid problem. Finger shits? No, it is not finger shits. It is finger shits. I am Dr. Friedrich Finkel shits. Finkel. Okay, fickle shits. No, not fickle. Not fickle. Who cares? Shits. Who cares? The same one. Like, like tinkle, but with an F. All right, tickle shits. How about this asteroid problem? It is finkel shits. Finkel shits. Fickle shits. Fickle shits. Okay, no I matter do. what your name. Shits, just explain the asteroid problem. It is Finkel Shits for one, and secondly, I have several genius solutions to our asteroid problem. Okay, genius solution number one we build a giant baseball bat, and then we step up to the plate and we knock the asteroid out of the plate. It is a win win. All right, Freckle Shits, let me tell you the problem I have with this. That's a lot of wood for that big of a baseball bat. And we're on a time crunch here, Freckle Shits. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. I see your point that, that would take a lot of wood and we are on a time crunch. So, genius solution number two. We make a giant trampoline. And then, when the asteroid comes to hit Earth, it hits the trampoline and it bounces off back to where it came from. <laughs> yes, yes, Earth is saved and the asteroid has a very good time. All right, well, I see that idea too, uh, shitball. But the thing is, is we're still running out of time, and that's a lot of material to use. Uh -uh. Yes. Right. Okay. okay, good point, good point. Yes. Okay, so, uh, genius solution number three. This is a good one. Okay, I say we propose a game of rock, paper, scissors to the asteroid. The asteroid will obviously pick out because man. it is made of rock, and we pick paper. Paper covers rock. We win, and the asteroid goes home. That's what well, I don't think that's a good idea there, Frankie Shits, because I don't think the asteroid wants to play rock, paper, scissors, my guy. And even if it did, that's a big ass piece of paper. Where are we going to get all that paper? We're going to run into the exact same problem as the baseball bat. True. Oh, yes, True. I see your point, you're right. And I'm all out of ideas and crayons. Well, you, you couldn't make like a, like a shrink ray for the asteroid? Hmm, a shrink ray? Yes, I, I could make a shrimp ray. I would do that. I would make a shrimp ray. Yes. He uh, says, uh, says shrimp. He didn't use a shrimp ray. You mean shrink, like shrink ray. Uh, freckle shits? Did, did we lose him? Well, let's hope he can make a shrimp ray for the asteroid. Okay, Please. good. We can still survive. All right. All the scientists have to do is shoot the meteor with a shrink ray, and it'll shrink it down really small, and then we'll all survive. There's still a chance. There's still a chance to survive. There's still a chance. Yeah. Daddy, why were you doing? I don't know why you're afraid of rocks, Daddy. Check, I'm not afraid of rocks. I'm afraid of big rocks. It's a bit rude. Oh my God. That's so annoying, man. Breaking news, I'm good. Doctor Frederick Pimpleshits has done it. He has made. The shrimp ray. Tell him, Dr. Pimple Shits. It is finger shits. But yes, I have made the shrimp ray. I will now go outside and shrimp the asteroid with my shrimp ray. Well, then do it. Shit. Oh, okay, I will. Yeah. <laughs> All right, asteroid. Prepare to get shrimp. <laughs> yes, take that. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Hey there, so you remember that asteroid that was going to slam into the earth and kill us all? 
Well, it's now been transformed into a giant shrimp that's gonna slam into the earth and oh, kill us all. Man. So, we're not really sure how I, the asteroid gets- I really feel bad for them now. They're gonna die by a shrimp. Wow, I really feel bad. They're gonna die by a food. Wow, I really feel bad. Turned into a giant shrimp, but uh, that is now the problem. And if that shrimp Same. collides with the earth, we will all die. Uh, wow, guys, I really feel bad for them. Because they're gonna die. Like, like myself. So, uh, if you have any ideas on how we can solve this shrimp problem, uh, please, please give us a call. What? A giant shrimp? <sighs> I know one person who can fix this. Yeah, yeah, come to with me, boy. Come to with me, yeah, the new shrimp master. Uh, uh you, 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 your shrimpiness? Bow me, Mario. Uh, y y yes, sir. Bow are you all? Can't you see I'm with my shrimp post? Uh, y y yes, I can see that, but, but uh, the world needs your help. Ow, why, why'd you do that? That's an honor, Mario. If a shrimp -o hunter hits you with his shrimp -o, that's a high honor. Okay, I mean, well, the world's in danger. The world's always in danger, Mario. Okay, but this time, there's a, there's a giant shrimp coming towards Earth. How big is he? About the size of the planet. <laughs> Well, I would I don't know. Take me to him, Mario. Okay, well, I'll take you to NASA. That, that, that's the people who need your help. All right, Mario. Breaking news, you guy. NASA has found a solution to the giant shrimp. Here's astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy from NASA. Okay, everybody, we finally have a solution for our giant shrimp problem. Uh, yep. Woody from Toy Story here. Here my name is Woody. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he has a solution for how we're going to fix this. Uh, Woody? All right, so now this is what we're going to do. They're going to put me in a rocket ship, and then they're going to blast me off into the outer space. Yeehaw, yes, they are. Then, once we're out there in the outer space, I'm going to get out of my, of my little space pod, and then I'm going to sneak up on the shrimp all, all nice and quiet-like. Wow. And then I'm going to look at the shrimp boat, and then I'm going to do the call. It don't make no sense. Jesus! Really? Ben, he don't get in his mating position. And then once he's in his mating position, I'm pop up! And now I'm gonna gobble him up! Woody. Yeah, Woody, I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. Let me tell you why that's not going to work. You why? Can't, you can't eat a shrimp the size of this planet. Oh, yes, I can. There was one time I ate one the size of your head there, little fella. Uh, okay, well, that's my head. We're talking about one the size of this planet. I'm always up for the challenge. Uh, okay, how about this? How about we fly you up to the shrimp, and then you yeah. eat your way to the middle of the shrimp, and then you put a bomb inside and blow it up from the inside? Oh, get to the center of the shrimp bow like a titty pop. Y yeah, like like a like a titty pop, sure. Yeah, let's do it. I'm always up for the challenge. All right, that sounds good. Okay, everybody, we're gonna give him a three billion dollar rocket ship and just see what he does. Kiwi boy, I'm ready to eat this shrimp bow. Okay, everybody, as you see right here to the yeah. side of me. Uh, Woody is in his rocket ship and he's getting ready to fly up to the giant shrimp and then eat yeah. his way inside and plant a bomb inside of the shrimp and blow it up from the inside and save us all. Uh, I'll be honest, this is this is a one-way mission. He's probably not going to be coming back. Uh, this, is suicide, super, um, this is a suicide this mission. Is a, this is a go to sleep forever mission. He's, he's going to commit suicide. not to feel so good. Okay, He's going to commit close his eyes forever. He's, he's probably going to die up there. So he, he is one brave cowboy. And if I were Andy, I probably would not have given him away to the little girl from Monsters, Inc. So, uh, let's launch this rocket! Yeah. I'm in the center of the shrimp boat, and I planted the bomb in 
the center of them. Now, I'm going to blow them up. Rest in pieces, you bastard. Chewie boy. What? Yeah, you did. We, oh, my God, you did. We, yeah, I know. We all say. The mission is a success. Woody successfully blew up the Chewie shrimp. We're yes, all we saved. Say. Shrimp is raining down from the sky all over the world. But, but let's not forget that brave cowboy that sacrificed his life for all of us. Right. We did it. Uh, he sacrificed himself to save all of no. us. No. Oh my God. Woody, you're a real hero. Oh my God. Guys, Woody's a real hero. He set his life. Woody, we'll always miss you. I will never give about you, Woody. What? What? Woody? Ugh, I killed that big bastard. Kiwi Cause I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below. Um, put, watch.